Alright guys, Peter Von Pandy here. Hey, I'm back with my Fossil Q Hybrid Smartwatch. And I've kind of got the my rig set up here a little funky because I want to give you my final thoughts now that I've been using it for a few days. First of all, uh, you will need this Fossil Q app available in the App Store. I've got it here on iOS. You install it and the pairing is actually pretty pretty darn easy. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of clever and it's really a fairly nicely polished app. So I've got to give Fossil a lot of credit for kind of making it feel like a polished product. Now it's going to be a little hard here I think to see everything on this app but I will do my best and try to uh, get uh, get decent shots of this. But first of all uh, I've got the watch next to it and I've paired it to this app and the kind of the main thing here is there is some you know health and fitness tracking information and I will say that the step counter seems to be pretty accurate and actually I, I wore this uh, pretty much um, just most of the morning you know ran a couple errands really early and then I didn't wear it at all the rest of the day and it you can see here that the little meter on the bottom which starts at blue and goes to red which is kind of showing your daily goal uh, seems to have worked. It says that I took 1400 steps. That was kind of about what I expected and because I only wore it for a couple hours this morning uh, just light errands I think it's it's actually pretty accurate. Unlike some of the other devices out there I know that I've reviewed before the the fitness tracking information seems to be way off. So you've got steps etc uh, etc. Et if you do hit your goal the hands go a little crazy. They go wah, 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 like that. Uh, I'm not sure that that's a feature that I really need, but if you like the positive affirmation, pretty, pretty good, pretty cool. Um, I don't, I have never used like a fitness tracker before, and so this was kind of my first experience with it, and I really actually kind of dug it. It actually does kind of give you a little motivation to keep being consistent each day. Now, a couple things that I want to show you about the app, and I think these are the kind of the important things. So. I bet that you'll want to use this for notifications. So what you have here is in the, the main menu here, you can go to Q notifications, and this will bring up a, the screen where you can have people, specific people notifications, as well as my app notifications. Now, a couple things that I will show you here is I added this Peter Von Panda dude, and you can uh, customize the notification that you get. And as you can see here, it might be a little hard, they're giving you a little watch face. And, and I have it set on three. You can rotate it just by tapping on it. Let's take it to nine. Um, and what that does is that when you have a notification come in, the hands are going to both uh, zero in on nine. And that's going to, the, the alert uh, arrow is going to go here. So it'll say it's an alert. All the hands, regardless of what the time is, are going to zoom in on nine and so you're gonna know that and and it'll vibrate so you'll know that it's vibrating it's alerting you to something and you're you're gonna have to remember that nine is this person calling in now you you probably wouldn't have a lot of people set up in here and i think at the most you can have kind of six notifications that makes some sense because you have you know 12 hours uh, you know 12 hour slots on your watch and so you are kind of limited by that now um for a lot of us, I think there's only maybe going to be one or two people, like your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, or maybe your boss, or whatever it might be. So it's not going to be that hard to uh, keep track. But it's just one of those things that you're going to have to kind of mentally remember what the hour number is to the contact you have. There's also this little Ghostbusters uh, um, X out icon right up here in the corner. And what that does is if I tap it, is it turns off the hands and you can see the watch kind of vibrating to acknowledge that. That means you're in vibration only. So if Peter Von Panda calls this phone now, the watch will vibrate, but it won't adjust the hands. I actually think that hands indication is really, really useful. Um, so you're going to get the vibration notice. It's going to vibrate. Bzz, bzz. You might have been able to hear it there. And then the hands are going to go the hours. So you've got an indication of what's going to happen. I'm going to leave that on there. The other thing is you have apps that you can add. Now, again, uh, if I go to edit here, you can see that the app support is not overwhelming. Uh, there are a lot of apps here that you may or may not want to use. These are apps, obviously, I have installed. But I don't have, you know, the only one I selected basically was Uber. 
but there are a couple apps that have notifications that I would really, really like. The one thing that I really do want to have is my calendar reminder. So this is because if I'm in a meeting, they, I often have hard stops of like five to the hour so that I can get to the next meeting because I have back-to-back -back meetings. What can sometimes happen is you get in the meeting and it's you're kind of in the groove and you realize, holy crap, you know, I'm five minutes late and it only you only realize it because someone knocks on the room door and they're like, we have this room here. And so uh, I do like having my calendar reminder set up with a five minute warning. Now what I've done here is I've set it so that it's the 12 o'clock position is the alert and it will vibrate and then the hands will go to uh, 12 o'clock. Now I'll actually change this to three o'clock just to show you that the hands here are reacting very, very quickly and moving to three o'clock and, and, and also going to the alert mode. So. Um, I dig that. That is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, just tap it there to go back. The hands are moving there. You might have been able to hear the, the watch buzzing a little bit. What I have is a, a meeting scheduled for a few minutes from now. And so what I want to show you here is that uh, what I should get is a reminder on my phone and then the alert on the fossil watch here. And there's the the meeting and the fossil watch is now going to the three o'clock position. It says alert and three o'clock. And then the hands return back to the normal time. A few seconds there. And those all worked pretty well. Now, there's a couple things that I would have liked to have seen changed. I'm about to call myself here to demonstrate what happens when someone calls in. One thing is I wish the vibrations would continue a little bit longer. You actually can, if I go, go out of here, adjust the vibration strength. So if we go down here to settings, and I go down here to device settings, you'll see if there's a vibration strength, and I do have it set to strong. There's a medium and a light as well. So you can kind of control the intensity of the vibration, but you can't control the length of the vibration. So what'll end up happening is, if I call myself here, you can see Peter Von Panda's calling, I've got the ringer going, the hands are at the 9 o'clock position and it says alert, so I know that someone's calling. Um, and that works pretty well, right? And even if I turn the phone to silent, the watch has buzzed a couple times and the hands are at the 9 o'clock position. Now a couple things I'll tell you is that the buzzing does not seem to persist, or the vibration does not seem to persist. What it do, what it always kind of does is does a bzzz, bzzz, and then the hands stay in that position, like the nine o'clock position, until the the call disconnects. So you you have some time if the call is continuing to come in, that uh, you'll be able to tell what it is by the hands. the The problem is on the calendar reminder, you get two buzzes. The hands go to the position, maybe the three o'clock is what I set it to, uh, for literally a few seconds, and then they go back. What I would really love to see in the app is a little bit finer control over the amount of time that the either the, the vibration continues, because I'd love it to go bzz, 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 right? I mean, maybe three in a series uh, before it stops vibrating because the vibration is very, very quiet. I mean, you can feel it, but it's not intrusive to interfacing with another person, so it doesn't interrupt the conversation. Most people can't hear it. Um, I've got it on the table here on a hard surface so that hopefully you can kind of hear it buzzing a little bit. But then um, that doesn't seem to last really long enough for my liking, and then the hands are also usually going back. Now, one of the best features about this Fossil Q over some of the other watches is that you can actually recall the last alert. So I know I complained a little bit that the hands don't stay in the alert position for very long, but this crown allows you to rotate through the features on the subdial here. And so if I keep pressing it to go to that alert, it's going to go back to that last position. So you can. Uh, you can see there that it showed the three o'clock, which is my calendar reminder. So if you miss the alert, you know, you're in a conversation, it wasn't really polite to look down at your watch, um, you're trying to wrap up a meeting, whatever it might be, you can go here, hit this a couple of times, and it's going to go back to that last alert. So the alert recall is actually pretty nice. Again, I'd like the hands to persist in that position a little bit longer, but it is kind of a big, big deal to have 
uh, an alert recall. And as you can see here, the crown, which is the, the piece that you'll be using, uh, has what looks like, it's a, looks like a one-piece crown, but it's actually two pieces. The, the, the crown and the neural portion here is actually a sleeve that the button uh, slides in and out of. So that's pretty nice. And just to prove that's how it works, if I call myself here, and just, I'll, I'll get an alert here that shows my 9 o'clock position as the call is coming in, and as that call disconnects, what should happen here now is after the hands reset back to time, if I hit double hit the crown to go to alert, it's going to go back to the nine o'clock showing that my last alert was a phone call from Peter Von Panda. So that's pretty clever. Nice. You can set an alarm here. You can set a second time zone. And I do have those set up. So you scroll through those. If I hit this one, the crown, I can scroll through the second time zone, which I have set up for an hour ahead. If I hit it again, it'll go back to uh, the alert. If I hit it again, it'll go to 24 hour. And again, there the date. So there is the date. So actually, the, the numbers kind of uh, join up and pick out one of these numbers here to show you what the date is. The bottom button here is the find my phone feature. So if I press this, The phone does this ring type of ring. Does it twice as far as I can tell. And it is very loud, so that's kind of nice. The other thing that I want to mention is even if the phone is switched to mute or to silent right there, and then I hit the Find My iPhone button, it also works. So even if you are you had your phone on silent, you left it on a table or dropped between or pillows or something, you'd still be able to find it. Uh, overall, I really like this. I actually think, um, you know, that this this watch, the Fossil Q Hybrid, uh, and probably the, the other Fossil smartwatches, actually are a pretty good execution of people that want smartwatch functionality, but want a decent looking watch. Now you can get this, like I said, in different styles. Uh, I really like this one, and I've had nice luck with Fossil watches. They've been really nice, uh, and, and they've been really durable watches with a lot of style for me. But what they've done here is they've integrated the, the smartwatch technology into their watches without disturbing uh, kind of their basic design philosophy. And so they've done a pretty good job. Obviously, some limitations on it, but I think it's a nice balance. Uh, there's some areas to improve, I'm sure. But uh, they did do a pretty nice execution here. So pretty happy with it. The Fossil Q hybrid smartwatch. This one's the crew master. Uh, I'm really, I'm really pleased with it. And it's probably one I will continue to wear for a, a goodly amount of time. Peter Von Panda out.